this is Helen Lore, and this is kind of a compilation video of some speed paints I did this week. These are the speed paints I did for the DA Speed Paint Club on DeviantArt. They're all kind of based around a similar theme. They're all in black and white because I wanted to practice my values this week. You know, black and white. You know, dark versus light. And the easiest way to do that is to actually make something in black and white. Values uh, play an important part in colored, colored painting, but you kind of get distracted by working on coloring itself. But you kind of get a little bit distracted when you're working with colors about other things that are going on. The hue of the color, the brightness of the color, and so forth. You don't just see light and dark. So that was kind of what I was up to this week. I like them. I made quite a few interesting drawings that I'm pretty proud of. I was hoping, you know, you might like to see a little bit of how these were made. Mm, I'm supposed to have interesting commentary about these drawings in here, aren't I? Uh, this one's uh, an arachne, a spider monster. She's half spider, half lady, all creepy, 100% creepy. She's not supposed to be a friendly creature. She's a monster, so she's supposed to be terrifying. She's not supposed to be sexy. Like, a lot of spider monsters are sexy because I guess, you know, if something can kill you, that automatically makes it hot. Welcome to the fandom, right? So, I enjoyed just going all out and making this creepy. I usually work really hard on making something pretty or aesthetically pleasing, which is an important part of art. But wasn't my main goal here might be able to tell that for better or for worse but I think it I think it turned out okay I was pretty proud of myself for stepping a little bit outside of my comfort zone and I drew hands hands are just amazing I added a background because this is one of those weekly this is a, a longer challenge so one of those weekly challenges is a little bit longer I get more time I want to make a better picture and I feel like she would have lived in the woods so you know trees this one was the prompt for dust. Uh, it was kind of a, I kind of just drew something I'm familiar with, probably to recuperate from that spider monster. It's just a cute girl in front of like a desert or something like that. Kind of like those little deserty hills. I just wanted to make something cute and relaxing. I like drawing girls. They're cute. So I did. That's what I did. And I... Like doing it, I had a good time. I should have spent more time on the background, though. So that's something I kind of keep in mind for future drawings. But not something I kept in mind for this one. This one is inspired by the Pied Piper. You see this person playing a, I think it's a recorder, <laughs> playing a recorder over there. And covered in surprisingly cute little mice. Mice usually aren't cute, I think. I think mice are kind of creepy even though I used to have pet mice they're not really something you want to pick up and cuddle they're, they they will bite pet mice will bite uh maybe only because they're scared but that doesn't make me like them any better I don't have pet mice anymore for a reason we could say so that is that this one I did add a little bit of a background in the end but the focus really was supposed to be on him and his hands playing that recorder is kind of why I've got the light focused around that section. I think I pulled it off pretty well. Kind of made that recorder a little bit detailed. Maybe it's a pipe. I think it looks like a recorder. I think it turned out like a recorder. You know, I used to play the recorder in elementary school along with, you know, everyone else in America. <laughs> it was fun, but I don't think I ever made anything you could really call music with the recorder, unfortunately. I didn't have much talent for it. And yeah. And you know, I put some shelves in there. Um, I'm not entirely sure why there'd be shelves in this drawing. I think I decided it was like a laboratory or something like that. I don't know why a dude would be playing a recorder in a laboratory, but there you go. Dude was playing a recorder in a laboratory. I made some more mice. I had to find some cute mouse poses to reference for this. That was fun. That puts more mice in his hair, because if you're going to have long hair, you're going to get mice in it. I guess that's what happens nowadays. 
This is the world we live in, guys. Mice in the hair. And this one was the last one I did this week. I really had a good time working on this. I felt like it was the uh, sum of all of my efforts. A woman who is becoming a wolf, you know, a werewolf, <clears throat> I suppose you could say. And the focus is really on her. I kind of throw a bit of a background in there a little bit. But, I mean, she takes up, like, almost the entire frame. So it kind of goes into if you put too much in the background, then no one's going to be looking at her. And when you spend a lot of time working on the face, that, um, that pretty, I guess. <laughs> is it pretty? I don't know. There's hair on it. <laughs> then that's where you want people to look. I, am. Um, I really... And I enjoyed. I felt like this was what I was working to accomplish. I made this drawing high contrast. I felt like I was really secure in the level of light I was supposed to have versus the level of shadow. So I was, I was happy. I felt like you know I did a good thing. I I got somewhere. I improved my art skills this week. And if I can improve my art skills, you bet your bottom dollar you can improve your art skills too. These are all challenges from the BA Speed Bank Club. And I would really recommend, you know, if you've got digital art, I think you can actually do these with traditional art. Like you can um, sketch something up for watercolor or whatever. I'd really seriously recommend that you go on over there and you give them a try. You know, they're, they're a lot of fun. They're really... Low stress, a really low stress to do. And, you know, go have some fun. Have a good week. This is Alan Lohr.